Hey guys, so just another quick update on the um, solar panels um, directly to water heaters. Um, so basically, as you can see here, I added two things and it's a pretty big changes. Um, so basically, this is a digital temperature gauge. Um, it's only like five dollars, uh, so very cheap. And then added the relay. So I finally found um, this relay on eBay. Um, it's a really good relay actually. It's very cheap. Um, it's only like $22. I bought it on eBay. It's a uh, I think it's a Dayton um, 25 amps uh, relay from 3 volts to 200 volt um, DC uh, 25 amps and it's the um, for the input it would take anything from 3.5 to 32 volt uh, VDC and the quality of this thing uh, actually the Raiden um, it's a true Raiden um, so I have tested up to 25 amps um, however 25 amps you definitely need a big heat sink like this and you're probably going to need a fan on, on my other house my other setup I'm pulling 22 amps at uh, 50 volt um, so that's about 1100 watts and I did have to have a fan on it, it was fairly getting hot but for this setup here I'm only um, doing about 100 volt um, and then at 10 amps max so it doesn't need a fan and it rarely even get hot it only get up to about ambient temperature which is about 90 to 95 here in my garage right now um, so basically um, just a quick rundown so all, all I did was I hooked the relay I mean I'm sorry hook the yeah hook the relay through this thermostat so the thermostat um, control it have a, it has its own relay and it would uh, control the 12 voltage power source um, that's coming into the to this thing and then it just runs that 12 volt directly into this relay um, so basically this thing put out a 12 volt um, when the water is low like if the temperature is below 48 like I said it's right here it would turn it on and um, if it's go above 55 it will uh, turn it off and this is in Celsius um, it's uh, that's what it comes with it doesn't have Fahrenheit so you have to convert it over um, so it's about um, 55 it's like 100 and yeah, I think 140 150 I'm not sure but you can do the conversion but it get really really freaking hot I had it on 60 but that's a little bit too high here for the summer we don't need it to be that high so I put it down to 55 for the cutoff and then start again at 48 and right now it's at 50 and the solar is not even on I mean the solar is on but it's not connected um, the circuit is open because this thing is not um, it's not allowing it's not turning on the relay so basically right now my solar is doing nothing my panels are doing absolutely nothing but I don't I mean I've thought about you know ha having a switch or something and switch on a, a grid tie an inverter or something like that but I don't want to tie it to the grid at the house and feed the power to the cities so that's that's illegal here so we can't do that and I don't want to add a battery system, a completely off-grid system that's just too expensive and it's going to complicate the thing a lot. So I'll just leave the panels as is right now. But uh, for two or three persons use, um, it only every night in the morning we come out still at about 40 degrees for the tank, 35 to 40, 35 to 40 Celsius, um, the water, and then it only runs for like an hour or two. Uh, at a thousand watts and it get back to 55 or 60 degrees Celsius and it was shut off for the rest of the day um, I mean it's pretty wasteful but I don't know what else I can do that's practical uh, and keep it simple so I'll just leave it for now and maybe I'll remove two of the panels mm -hmm. and then take those two panel up to my other house and hooked up to my off-grid systems and then you know I can use it on the other house but then in the winter time I have to move those two panel back here so I'm still thinking about that see if it's worth it um, so basically as you see this thing have a little temperature gauge that comes down here the, the the wire comes out and it have a little sensor so I just attach it to the inside of this on the side of the tank um, and that just measure the top uh, temperature of the tank uh, but 55 to 60 um, degrees Celsius is it's very hot so 
Um, but that's how it works. So basically it's very simple. This relay is super cheap and it's like, it's a real rate, real rate and it, it, you know, it's not the fake one, like the cheap one I bought last time. Uh, but this one's fairly cheap, $22 I got on eBay. I'll put a link up, um, see if the, that seller still sells them and I'll put a link for you guys. Um, and then I just added a CPU, um, a computer heat sink. Um, and then uh, that should be it and, and just, just so you can see my log so I had it I have unplugged it from the grid um, since uh, February so February was the last time that I used any grid power 8 kilowatts and then for March is zero um, April uh, zero and in May it's zero it's only gonna get you know it's gonna be zero from the grid probably all the way until like September or October um, but in March it produced it or I used you know about 150 155 kilowatts but this is you know even this is only like half of the day so it, I told you it only run for a few hours and then it shuts off so you know it could have produced a lot more but it, you know it just shuts off so for April I used about 143 kilowatts this is just going to be less and less as we, you know, head towards summer here in Arizona. You know, we really don't need hot showers here, you know, when it's like 110 degrees. So, um, so all right. So, it's just a quick update for you guys. Um, you know, I am surprised how well this worked. Um, the only issue that I see here, uh, particularly here in Arizona, is... Um, in the winter time, you might need, you know, three to four, 300 watts panels to keep up uh, to make it worth it. Um, but in, in summer time, you really only probably need two panels, so 600 watts in the summer times. That should be more plenty. Um, so that's the only drawback. You're gonna you're gonna have too little in the winter time and then too much in the summer times that I don't know what to do with. But overall, the system. You know, it's working flawless. I mean, there's nothing, no no big electronics component that can fail easily. So no battery, no charge controllers, um, no inverters, anything like that. So I think I'm going to keep it this way and keep it simple. Um, so hopefully uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to serve me for a long time. So, all right. See you all.